before I started coaching, I visited with a, a few other coaches, and one of whom was Pete Carroll, and, and uh, went and saw him in, during training camp in Seattle. And he was uh, he was great. He pulled me aside. You know, I was sitting in on all their coaches' meetings, um, watching practices, and he pulls me aside on the second day I'm there, and he goes, uh, so how are you going to coach your team? I said, you mean like what offense am I going to run? He goes, no, that stuff doesn't even matter. And I'm like, how are you gonna? He goes, how are you going to coach your team? I go, well, what does that even mean? He goes, what are the players going to feel when they walk into the building every day? What's the vibe? What's the culture? We're like, how are you going to um, just determine like – what they feel when they walk into the building every day. And it, that started this conversation where he basically laid it out. And it was an incredible story, but he said he had coached in the NFL for four years, a couple of years with New England, a couple of years with the Jets, gets fired, comes here to San Francisco mm -hmm. as a uh, coach with the Niners. And he said at the end of every day, he'd go and sit with Bill Walsh. Mm -hmm. And he said Bill Walsh taught him about culture. And he said that, that Bill Walsh told him, you've got to figure out who you are. What are the values that make you who you are? And those values are, have to become the culture. But you've got to figure out how to make those values come alive. They can't just be words mm -hmm. on a wall. So P was explaining all this. And uh, it made so much sense because I had felt that in San Antonio with Pop and Chicago with, with Phil. But nobody had ever sort of expressed it that way. So for the next couple of days, we talked about, you know, what, what those values would be for me, what, like lo really looking into my own uh, past and who I am, and then how to make those values come alive. And uh, it's fascinating. But Pete said he really learned that from Bill Walsh. So yeah, pretty cool. So yours? Values yeah. are competitiveness, right. mindfulness, compassion, and joy. Right, okay. Yeah. And so we have a few team rules, yeah. you know, but... We but, do? Yeah, <laughs> they're never enforced. <laughs> so you know, protect the team right. is a is a is a uh, is a, a team role, but uh, but everything is sort of um, encompassed with the values. And and so what Pete taught me was if if joy is one of your values, then there better be joy at practice. Every, there better be joy in the building every day. So hiring people who have a sense of humor and who can laugh at themselves to on your staff is really important. And then hiring creative people who can, you know, make practice fun and and lively and playing music and and you know celebrating players' families and their, you know, accomplishments, you know, birth of a child like we want the players to walk into this building every day feeling the joy that comes from being in a place you want to be.